Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. On this episode, I'll be polishing some glass. And I'm gonna show you a little trick I use to install quarter windows. Let's get right to it. So guys, what I'm working with is a couple quarter windows, a couple pieces of door glass, and the back glass, the inside and the outside. Um, they all got some overspray and some minor scratches, nothing crazy. And to take care of that, I ordered this kit from Summit. The part number is SUM905030. And with the economy just doing what it's doing, who knows anymore. Uh, as of this morning, the price was like $51. Hopefully it was worth it. Like I said, may go up in the future here. Uh, in that kit, you will get instructions, a polishing pad, a backing pad that fits onto a drill. And this drill's got to be at least 1,500 RPM capable. You'll get the polish, and this stuff's like a fine powder. So you're going to mix this stuff with some distilled water in a plate or bowl. And the other things I'll be using will be my favorite glass cleaner and some paper towels. And I've got some old like bath towels that the wife won't yell at me if I use them. And uh, that's about it. Gonna want like something you can put the glass on that's, you know, soft and will mold to the shape of the glass so you're not flexing it and possibly hurting it, cracking it. Anyway, so let's get right into it. So this piece of glass has some overspray on it. It's got some light scratches. Pull in close here. There we go. I can feel them with my finger now. There is a mark around the outer edge where the gasket goes or seal. Let's see how good this stuff works. Guys, I can tell you it's starting to work. Looks pretty good. I got still a few light scratches here and there. I'm gonna go ahead and give it another pass. Um, it's definitely messy. And while that pad is spinning, don't lift it off the glass while it's spinning because you will have a mess. Okay guys, I'm going to attempt to put this thing together and not struggle too much. I did one already, went okay. So I had these rubber gaskets out in the sun. They are nice and pliable right now, stretchy. Um, I go ahead and I start with the flat side of the window, put it on top of the gasket here. I'm going to spread these corners out. 
I'm going to insert one corner, the next, get it in there nice and tight, set it up for you. So there we are. I'm going to bring this up and we're going to try to get around the top. A little bit of a struggle here. If these things are cold, you might need another set of hands. I might need another set of hands right now. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, it seems to be going in. Okay, once you get that top going, then you can just work around. Get the uh, curved side, or I should say the top. Probably wouldn't hurt to put a little bit of that uh, clear silicone, dielectric grease, whatever, in the grooves to maybe help it seat. I don't know. I didn't do that because it's kind of hard to clean off the glass once you do that. And since these things are so warm, they seem to be going right together. No sweat. Okay. There we go. Now the fun part, putting the metal metal uh, frame in and not scratching it. These were painted by, oh, two and a half weeks ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and, before I get started, you're gonna see witness marks. There's a curve in the rubber right here. That's where it originally was. And if you pull this back, you can kind of see little rectangles in the rubber where these guys were. You want to get as close to that as you can. So I'm sort of blood here. Trying to get the press you down with the best. Take a little bit of time. Without any teeth in the rubber. That's good. So that part's in. Gonna to want to go back. You're going to want to peel this back. Just take a peek. Make sure that's seated. And it's nice and flush with the top of that gasket. Everything looks real good. Okay, yeah. So, straight part. Now, I think you can do this one of two ways. You can be a little crazy like me and do it one piece at a time. Or you can fit these two together and install it in one shot. The last one I did, I went ahead and I inserted it here, slid it up, almost touching that next piece, being careful not to scratch. Again, you got to be super careful with this if you don't want to scratch paint. I mean, you guys with the chrome ones, you're lucky. These were not chrome. These were just, these were painted body color and... Yeah, I may need to speed the camera up at this point, guys. I can dig it. Looks pretty good. And that is the driver's side. So there you go. Two windows assembled. Cleaned them up. The, uh, the glass polish worked pretty good on this stuff. Uh, shine them up. I got rid of my overspray and some very light scratches. Those two scratches that were kind of heavy on the one window are still there. <clears throat> so installing these windows isn't really a one person job. You're gonna need an extra set of hands. Um, once you have that, grab some string. I got some nylon string here. This stuff's pretty thin. I like it a little thicker. Um, why, what I ended up doing was just doubling it up. And I'll show you what I mean. I cut a piece that will go all the way around the perimeter and three or four inches hanging out the end extra and just doubled that. I took the two pieces, taped them together in a couple spots and that's your tool. So what I do is I take, take one end 
about three inches hanging out the uh, the back side here. You're gonna run this string into the C channel. Just tuck it in there. All the way around. Now you can come down at this end because it's loose and you can pull it and kind of even things out. But what I got what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna bring these up. and I'm gonna tape them to the glass. So here's what it looks like, just sitting on the bench. See it's inside there a little bit. Can't see it, but it's in there. All right, guys, I started this corner down here, the sharp edge, the pointy end, whatever. You see my string sticking through there. I got this tape just to hold it in place. So we're going to pull this string, and it's going to pull this guy up over the metal edge carefully. See how this goes. Put your hand right there. Okay, last part, guys. All right, I just had to set the camera down to work that corner out a little bit with a plastic trim stick. Looks like that. concerned that is a messy process I'm gonna be cleaning up those little white dots for weeks to come anyways would I buy that kit again I would buy that kit if I had some very light scratches anything you could feel with your fingernail don't buy it guys it's not gonna it, no it's not gonna work uh, the quarter glass turned out okay I'm gonna leave those alone the back glass it's best days are behind it I'm gonna be looking for a new one the front door glass there's some scratches in this that that stuff isn't gonna take out. But I thought, hey, if I'm driving this thing or I'm in a car show, these windows are down anyways, right? So that being said, do your research. As for quarter window assembly and installation, hope that helped you out, guys. Really, it's all about patience and that little string technique. I know some of you have probably seen that before. But that's the best way to do that, really it is. The front door glass, that assembly, 
process will be in an upcoming video where we put every gidget gadget nut bolt screw lever into the front doors with that being said guys thanks for watching do me a favor like and subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one